Tiger on the prowl again, single-handedly ruining other golfers' confidence one at a time. He is back, also back, our golf columnist, Steve Elling. Steve, thanks for taking the time to talk with us. You got it. All right, let's get to it. Last time we played was the U.S. Open, making his debut next week at the WGC. Let me ask you this. Why this tournament, Steve? Well, hmm. I think there's there's probably three or four pretty good reasons. Um, a, he's got cabin fever. Uh, you know, he's been cooped up now for, for quite a long time. He's been playing an awful lot, uh, trying to kind of chip away at the rust and, and tweaking his swing a little bit to um, – you know, to, to kind of protect that knee to make sure that he doesn't have a recurrence of that type of issue that he's had before. So we're going to see a little bit of a different golf swing, although it'll look pretty much the same to anybody that's not a hardcore golf swing guy. Um, you know, he's got, a, he's got an endorsement deal with Accenture, which is the title sponsor. Whether that played into it, I don't know. He's the defending champion. Uh, he's won that tournament um, three times this decade already, 03, 04, and 07. So he's had some pretty good luck there. Um, you know, there's also the possibility that if he plays well, he's going to get in a lot of golf in a very short time. It starts Wednesday, and, uh, you know, there's 36 holes on the weekend. If you keep winning, the final on, on Sunday is a 36-hole final. So the dude could answer a lot of questions if he comes out and, and you know, brings his A game, as he used to call it back in the day. You know, Steve, I had to laugh. Steve Williams was quoted as saying, Tiger will come back to the tour mentally stronger i mean call me crazy but how much stronger how does he fare this time around well um here's why uh, you know tiger has had a knee issue for most of his adult life I and mean, i remember the first time i saw the guy play in high school back when i was living in california and he was uh, you know in school down in orange county and um, you know he was having knee problems then i saw him at stanford and he you know he was playing with a bandage on his knee and favoring the knee so you know he's had trauma in that knee for a long time and he's finally got it fixed. You know, he feels like, uh, from a physical standpoint, he's going to be—he's definitely going to be steeled and ready for the long haul. So, you know, between his ears, he feels like he's—he's he's better positioned to to do what he needs to do and you know, and to go at it like never before. So, I, I'm sure the way he thinks, that's got to be worth some brownie points to him. And, and you know, that's a little bit frightening for... I was just about to say... <laughs> it's got to be a little concept. bit frightening for the mere right. mortals out there, you know? Exactly. Steve, seven weeks between the WGC and the Masters. What kind of form do you think he'll be in? Or do you have to watch him play a couple weeks before you can answer that question with pure confidence? Well, you know, we're, we're all guessing. But, you know, the, the bottom line is this. The guy could have come back this week if he wanted to and played at Riviera in Southern California, you know, very near his home. But he didn't feel like he was ready. He's not going to come back until he feels like he can win the tournament. There's not going to be, you know, some of these guys treat the West Coast swing like spring training. Um, you know, that's pretty much what Mickelson's been doing. Um, you know, Phil, Phil kind of woke up uh, in the first round at Riviera this week and, and played a good round, but his first three starts had been extremely unforgettable. He's just kind of playing his way into shape heading into the Masters. Tiger's not going to come rolling out there unless he feels like he can win a tournament. So, you know, I fully expect him to, to, be, to be throwing fireworks and haymakers like he's always done. Now, whether, you know, whether he wins next week, that's – Arguably the toughest tournament of the year to win because it's match play. The best guy doesn't always win. He almost lost in the first round last year to J.B. Holmes before you know, he basically pulled a rabbit out of his hat down the stretch and started making eagles and doing all kinds of crazy Tiger Woods stuff. So, uh, you know, there, there's a lot of question marks about about next week that don't relate just to the way he's playing. You know, he's pl supposed to play an Australian in the first round three times this decade. He's been eliminated by an Australian. Uh, in the first in in the uh, in the match play format, so a couple times by Nick O'Hearn, another time by a guy named Peter O'Malley, actually in the first round. So it's a brand new golf course; he's never seen it, nobody's ever seen it. So, uh, like, you need a million more reasons to watch next week, right? Well, and that's getting to my next point. There's been proof that there's been uh, poor attendance for tour events, and TV ratings have been down. Does that turn around now that he's back? I think next week's probably the the biggest sporting event of the year outside of the Super Bowl. Granted, we're only, what, six, seven weeks into the year here. But, you know, in terms of 
what people like to watch. I mean, this has been a storyline that's sort of been slowly building for eight months now. You know, everybody talks about the fact that he hasn't played since the U.S. Open. Well, he's only played one time since the Masters in April, and that was at the U.S. Open because he was off all that other time. Uh, He had arthroscopic surgery. Then he hurt the knee. Then he played in the U.S. Open. Then he had full-blown knee surgery, and now he's back. So, man, it seems like it's been... A long, 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 long time, not just eight months. I'm sure to the PGA Tour and, and to golf fans and to you know, networks like CBS and ABC and the Golf Channel that have been you know, trying to soldier on with um, the rest of the guys and putting their best foot forward as, uh, in terms of uh, presenting the product, you know, it seemed even longer than that. And he's going to be playing to win perhaps better than ever. Perhaps we will all tune in. Steve Elling, thank you for your time. Can't get any better, really, can he? <laughs> I don't Is it know. possible? He's going to be mentally stronger, though. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Steve, and thank you for watching. Keep it locked right here on CBSSports.com. I'm Lauren Shahadi. We'll see you soon.